All right, guys, what's up? Today we're doing the RD Hard Achievement Diary tasks. I did almost messed that up completely, but we're good. Anyways, RD Hards, we have finished RD Medium and Easy. Starting off with these, got some done already, but I will still go over them for you and how to do them and stuff, so let's get started. Items-wise, we're going to need a hammer, uh, a skills necklace, or a combat bracelet with no charges. Uh, Grigri, if you guys don't know, in the RD Zoo, you can equip a Grigri, and it will work. You can actually be a monkey in here. And we're gonna need to do that for this task. So but a little bit more is required in that, but yeah, that's just what I'll show you. So the Grigri, a small fishing net and a rope. I also have an axe, five mithril bars, a shield left and right half, uh, two pure essence, a death talisman or a death tiara, a spade, and then two laws and two earths. Now, you, all, you guys also need to plant some things. If you guys haven't planted these already, then you're gonna have to wait a little bit through the rest of the tasks because I recommend planting these prior to doing the tasks. Uh, you have to plant a palm tree seed uh, at Tree Gnome Village. I'll show you guys where you are. So Tree Gnome Village is right here. You guys have to plant a palm, okay, phone. <laughs> you guys have to plant a palm tree seed right here. And if you uh, do not want your palm tree seed to die, then you have to pay 15 papaya fruits to the farmer there. And uh, yeah, so that's gonna take like 16 hours to grow, but uh, Palm tree seed needs to be planted there. Again, you can buy that from the Grand Exchange if you want. And then we also need to plant a poison ivy seed just north of the monastery right here. Now, poison ivy seeds rarely, if ever, die, so you don't have to worry about paying anything. But those will take a, little less, a bit less time to grow. But uh, yeah, those are needed there as well. So those are the items we have. Also, you guys will need... Uh, if you guys don't have 72 thieving, you'll need some sort of boost. And what I have is I'm just using summer summer skirk juice <laughs> which you guys can get from um, one of the mini games in alcarid the sorcerer's garden and this will boost your thieving level uh, from 70 uh, up to 72 so that's the boost i have for thieving and i also recommend having a ring of dueling uh, amulet of glory and of course an arty cloak is always nice looks good and it'll help you i think it helps you with energy a bit or something uh, but yeah so skills wise we need 66 magic 72 thieving 59 hunter 70 farming, 68 smithing, 50 construction, and 65 runecrafting. Quests needed are Legends Quest, Monkey Madness, Watchtower, Legends Quest, and Morning's End Part 2. Now, you guys will also need some sort of runecrafting boost. I will be getting a runecrafting boost later. Um, I still need one more level, but uh, I just need a, at least a, a one point boost for that. But I may, I'm just, may end up just using spicy stews or finding something else. But crafting the death runes are going to be the last thing we need to do, so I'll go ahead and get started with the other things first. Now you guys will also have to change your house to Yanil if you have not done that yet, or if it not currently is Yanil. Luckily for you, there is an estate agent in Yanil, basically just above the RD Zoo. So talk to him with some, with at least 25k in your inventory. Talk to him, say, can I move my house please? And say, make sure you press more than Yanil. And you're not, your house has now been moved to you nil. So there you go. That is basically what you need. Uh, also done. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is start at Arty Zoo. Which is at the southern part of East Arty. So, I mean, you guys have all been here before. Um, so yeah. When you're here, go ahead and enter the zoo and transform into the monkey by clicking your Grigri. Head towards the center. And we're going to talk to a monkey minder. Ook, ook. Ook. Okay, what? Uh, okay, ook, rick, rick. <laughs> and that should complete the task. Yep, you completed a hard task. Congratulations. So, now I think you can take off your Grigri and talk for them to take you out. I guess not, but uh, okay, now you're trapped in here forever. I'm sorry, guys. GG, your RuneScape careers. It's been fun. No, but all serious is just talk to one of the monkey miners. Um, and they'll say, what are you doing in here? Just, I don't know. <laughs> And you'll get back out. So from here, we're going to head up to the castle. And um, for those of you who have done elite clues, you'll know that stealing from King Lathis's chest is one of the requirements for that. So we need to have 70 th 72 thieving for this. To get there, just enter into the castle. And straight through those big doors. Big doors. I don't know why I said that, like country-like. <laughs> Climb up the staircase. And now we're going to head and pick the lock on this door. 
it may take a little bit. Don't spam click it. Don't worry if you can't open it. Uh, it's going to either say, it's going to pop up down here that you failed or you passed, but you basically just have to keep doing it. All right, there we go. Got through. I just kept right clicks, pick locking it. And then we're going to go ahead and open this door. And then open this door. And we will be at the chest. Now, before you open the chest, make sure you do your boost if you guys are below 72 thieving. If not, you're good. Let's go ahead and take the boost. And that puts us at 70. Ooh, 73, not 72. Wow. All right, let's open or search the trap, the chest, chest for traps. And you'll automatically open the chest and you'll get some stuff as well. Um, you'll get teleported out, but that doesn't matter. Um, you can keep the stuff if you want, but uh, yeah, there is another one done. So we're just going to teleport back to Artie with the tab. And go ahead and go to the bank really quickly and just bank some of this stuff. So, so I banked some of this stuff. Now we have to run to West Artie and we're going to have to use the anvil up here. So basically from this bank, we're just going to run straight across, open the gates, run up to West Artie. And the northern part are going to be the anvils, which you guys just saw on the mini map. So I will be right there. Okay, once we're here, go ahead and open the doors. And now we're going to use the shield right half on the anvil. It says you'll set to work fixing it. Training experience. And you guys have completed the dragon square shield. Pretty nice looking shield. You don't get that much XP for it, which sort of sucks, but you complete a task either way. Let's equip that baby. Bam, dragon square shields. Okay, and now we're going to, at the same anvil, use your mithril bars on here. And we have to, uh, we're gonna have to smith a mithril plate body. So just click mithril plate body, and you'll knock out two tasks in one at this single anvil. Awesome. So now we're gonna teleport back to Ardi. So you can use your Ardi teleport or your standard teleport, and we're gonna have to run to the Legends Guild. The Legends Guild is just basically follow this path. <laughs> the one you're running on right now, just follow it up to the Legends Guild, and we're gonna have to use the totem that we got from one of the prior quests to recharge a skills necklace or a combat bracelet. It depends on which one you brought. And to get in here, of course, you must have done Legends Quest, which I hope many of you have done. I hope, you know, I hope all of you guys have Questscape at least. If you don't watch my, if you watch my videos and have Questscape, there's something wrong with it. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Nothing wrong with uh, not having Questscape, but it's highly recommended. Once you're in here, open here, you guys will see this big totem. Use whatever you want to charge on there. And you have um, charged it. I will probably never use a skill a skills necklace, but thank you, thank you, blessed totem. So now we're going to use the watchtower teleport, which requires two earth to law. Click watchtower teleport, and that'll complete another task. Climb down the ladder. Climb down again. Run east. And we're going to use the shortcut to run under right here. If you guys can't run under, then you have to run around or teleport into Yanil somehow. But we're using, I'm going to use this to get under. Once you get under, we're going to head, we're going to go ahead and enter the magic guild, which is a requirement. So head east from the shortcut. And on the southern part of Yanil, you guys will see the big magic guild. I'm sure you guys all know what that is. And all we have to do is enter it. And once we've entered it, that completes that. Awesome. And now we're going to head back. Oh, where to run? Now you can do two things. You can. Okay, why am I running that way? That's awkward. You can you nil, tell, you can, you nil tab, which will put you right in for the, the portal, or you can just run there like I am. Running is not that big of a deal. Uh, all you have to do is enter your player owned house from you nil. Pretty easy stuff. Enter the portal. Go to your house. My house isn't pretty big. Fuck. And you guys will enter your house. Just enter the portal again. And that'll complete that. So, I've already done this prior, so it doesn't show up for me, but I'll just 
show you guys some um, that you'll complete it. Right. Where is it? Enter your player house for me. Nope. So there you go. You complete that task. So now we're going to have to catch our red salamander. And you guys can catch these. Uh, and one place in specific that we're going to go is up here, up to the altar, the Zemi altar up here. Now the fastest way to get here is probably by using your ring of dueling and running up straight from castle wars up there. So what I'll do is, with my ring of dueling, I'll rub it, of course, <laughs> teleport to castle wars. And then it's pretty much just a straight shot up. So I'm just going to fast forward me running up there. And you guys you see these hunter spots are where the red salamanders are. All we need to do is catch one. So let's go get that done. I like to wrap and make sure I have one. Oh! Okay, we're now here. Once you see the salamanders, you should be good. Oh, there's a guy far. We won't take this spot. Uh, let's see how many he can plant. I wonder if he's going to take this one out here. We'll just do this tree right here. We'll try to catch one. They're all running away, though. Who knows? We'll see if they come back. Yes! We got one! Let's check the trap. And you'll complete another hard task. And I will release the salamander because I'm such a loving, caring person. And now we only have a couple left, guys. So the next one we're going to do is go ahead and pick some poison, or pick the poison ivy berries that we planted earlier. Now a good way to get here is to teleport to the Kandoran Monastery with your Arty Cloak. And your seeds will be right there. Go ahead and check the health of your poison ivy bush. And we're going to pick from... And boom, you guys get some poison ivy berries. Awesome. I know. No, stop, 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 stop. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to head up to the spirit tree which is you see this little arrow right here it's basically northwest of where we just came from or sorry from the monastery so we're gonna run around the monastery and we're gonna use this spirit tree to teleport us to the tree gnome village many this is probably the saddest spirit tree and i'm gonna use it unfortunately but it's okay tree gnome village and then we're going to head out. Now you guys probably have already done this because you planted your palm tree seed, hopefully. Or if you haven't done that yet, rough. But squeeze through the loose railing. Follow Elkoi out. And then we're going to head southwest. And go ahead and check the palm tree health. And that will complete that. Now, of course, I've already done this as well. I've already checked the health. So I should be fine. Let's just double check just in case. Da, 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 da. What am I looking for? Artie. Hard. Uh, there we go. Check the health of a palm tree near Tree Gnome Village. So that completes that. And that leaves us with one more, which is the Death Runes. So we're going to teleport to Edgeville because we will be using the Abyss for this. You guys can go through the whole Morning Zempar 2 tunnel thing if you want, but I won't be. I will be using the Abyss, but first off, I need to get myself a boost from Spicy Stews, so I'm going to go get some Spicy Stews first. Also, you guys can pretty much bank everything you want. You will be uh, you will be sculling because you'll be going to the Abyss, so I pretty much banked everything. I'm going to take out my Arty Cloak, and that's pretty much it. Take out a Pickaxe as well, just in case, and then we'll take out some Runes. Where do I keep my pure essence these days? Who knows? And then, of course, you will also need uh, a death talisman or tiara. So let me get that out as well. There we go. Awesome. So I'm going to go get this spicy stew boost, and hopefully it'll boost me up. So I have some orange spices, some stews. I have my death talisman and my pure essence. I also have my glory, RD cape, and a rune pickaxe. So to get to the Abyss, we have to run into level like 6 Wilderness, teleport with the Mage of Zamorak. And once we're in here, we're going to have to basically find one of the things we can go through. We can mine this rock because we've got a pickaxe. God bless the pickaxe. Our 73 mining can hopefully get us through here. Nope, we failed. Okay. Okay, and you'll automatically go through if you pass. 
And now we have to look for the, the death rune entrance, which should be here somewhere. Chaos. There's death. Is that air? No, it's death. Exit through death rift. We should be here. Now we need 65 rune crafting. We have 64. Let's go ahead and use our orange spices on the stew. One, two, three. Will we get lucky? Oh god. 62. Now I didn't mention, I'm sorry if this this messed any of you up, but you can also bring restore potions with you if you want. You can just teleport back to Edgeville and get some if you want. Because you will lose um, some stats. I mean, you guys saw I went down to 62 room crafting from 64. But you can also just wait it out. It takes like 30 seconds for one to go up. So I'm just going to wait because I'm lazy and don't feel like teleporting out. So, be right back. Okay, attempt number two. One, two, three. Bam. 69 we got a five boost it's pretty beast so let's go ahead and craft awesome we have uh crafted those beast you can have now complete all the hard tasks in the already area speak to two pints at the flying ice in awesome we're finally gonna upgrade this cape let's teleport out of here and then we're gonna run to the bank and go ahead to back to already with our already tabs there they are. And you guys know where to find her. Obviously, you started off the RD tasks at the easy ones up at this bar up here. So we're going to run over there and get our RD Cloak 3. Now let's talk to this gooch over here. Two pints. Oh, let's take it off so we can see the change. Hello, complete all the tasks. Well done. You want to reward? Yes, please. Bam. Oh, look at that. RD Cloak 3. Finally, been waiting so long for that. I've upgraded your RD Cloak for you. Wizard Crompty will now give you 150 pure essence per day. You can also toggle the Watchtower Teleport at the center of Yanil. Claim further drops as notes in the Tower of Life and have a 10% better chance at stealing and pickpocketing everywhere. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Awesome, 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 guys. Congratulations, you completed that. You guys will also get a 15k Antique XP Lamp, which goes on, as always, our friend Runecrafting. Awesome. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the guide. If it did help you out, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment as well. Also make sure to leave a comment and leave a like if you guys have a more efficient way or you have, you know, and you have any comments to help someone else. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video. Peace.